Achim Schlöffel, Inner Space Explorers. Today we have a completely new topic. Today we speak about snorkels and snorkeling. And before you shut off, um, think a little bit about it because a lot of people ask me to do this video. And um, the reason why I came up with it is that I've been recently out with my family. We've been laying there with a couple of other boats and people went snorkeling. I was actually diving. But while I was diving, there was a guy from a boat next to us who uh, got a really bad cramp in his leg and uh, panicked a little bit and my wife helped him back on the boat. And then when I was back uh, from my dive, um, we started to talk a little bit and he said, well, <clears throat> the, the diving and all of uh, inward activities was always a dream of him, but um, now at a certain age, he has the money and boat and he's out there and blah 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 and um, as much as he likes it it's always a bit of a, of a drama he gets cramped in his leg he gets water in his mask and his snorkel and then he bought one of these um, fantastic um, full face um, snorkel disasters and um, so all in all it sounded a bit like uh, he's missing something and then as we talked about, other people from other boats joined and we've been sitting together there and uh, it, I realized there's some sort of issue. So before we continue that, let's be clear that we talk about snorkeling, not about skin diving or apnea diving. And uh, so we talk about being on the surface with a mask and a snorkel and a set of fins. And obviously, I mean, you can descend a couple of meters um, but we not talk about near diving. So, as in all my diving, and if you if you follow my videos for a while, um, you know the approach. Do it as simple as possible and avoid unnecessary solutions for problems that in reality do not exist. And uh, in my opinion, that's still the best approach to all of this and also to snorkeling. So let's talk about the snorkel and um, what we have here is what I still recommend till today it's the most simple piece of gear ever without all the nonsense so there's no little valve ping pong ball god knows what on top that can get stuck or block or uh, whatever you simply don't need that if, snorkel, uh, if water goes into that snorkel you blow it out problem solved. The other thing is it doesn't have any corrugated uh, parts in here that you see a lot so the snorkel becomes very flexible. That's simply not necessary and the problem is this corrugated uh, part is that if you blow out water there will always be some water left in these, this corrugated part that you'll inhale on the next inhalation which is pretty uncomfortable and then people create issues. And the other thing is it doesn't have the exhaust valve here. You see a lot of them that have tiny valves um, in the bottom part um, which should make it easier for people to get rid of water so they don't have to blow it up all the way through the pipe but it goes out here. Again they get blocked a little bit of sand, gravel, whatever and there's water coming in instead of water going out which again creates issues and then suddenly um, originally very very simple piece of equipment is made more complicated um, and then actually the real problems start. So I also don't have any fancy ring mechanism, silicon loops, God knows what, on the snork to attach it to the masks. Always also something that's prone to fail. So what I do is, and you see this has some sort of an ergonomic um, bending, so when I have it in my mouse the snork goes up and obviously when I, it's, it's still adjustable, so because if you would stand and you have the snorkel like this and you go underwater, the snorkel would tilt forward, but that works pretty well. So this bit of ergonomic um, shaping is very useful and actually you can turn these parts here, um, but there's no fancy sealing o-rings or whatever in it, it's just some silicone on a, on a plastic tube. So very robust. I think I have this snorkel for more than 20 years. How do I attach it? I simply lift my mask band, push it underneath the mask band and that's how it's attached. Yeah. 
so far to the equipment. Um, you saw it before, and uh, I would briefly talk about this. Um, um, it, it, it's not about making um, bad comments on certain companies or something like that. So you can ignore the, the brand of this if you see it. Um, there's a couple of brands making stuff like that because people obviously think that makes it more comfortable for them and, and buy these things. In reality, um, I see people buying these that seem to have issues with normal gear. So I talked to quite a few people that I saw with these masks and they always said, well, I bought this because I had issues using a regular mask and a snorkel because I didn't like the water in the eyes, I didn't like the water in the nose, I couldn't clear the snorkel, etc., etc., etc. And then they buy this. And I mean, in all honesty, I don't know why you, why you would want to use this high-tech piece of gear for such a simple task. And when I look at it, I can see quite a, quite a few issues. Um, and the main thing for me, and actually you know that there have been a couple of really bad accidents with these, is the way it is attached to the, to the head. So it's not something that you can just take off like this. It needs a bit more uh, technique to take it off, and that's actually where the problem starts. If this thing starts to fill with water, or you don't get any air, for example, when this little critter here goes here, actually it blocks the entrance, and I can actually simply demonstrate that to you. I don't know if you saw that, but if I tilt my head back and this goes down, it actually blocks. And that means, yeah, there's no water coming in, but there's also not any air coming in. And I've seen people panic with these on the surface simply because they were trying to stay in the water looking to the boat or something like that. And they created issues. The other thing is if this thing fills with water, for example, by doing what I just did, and you probably heard the noise of it, that was obviously when there was air going in through the lid, then water's coming in. And then suddenly your eyes, your mouth, and your nose is in the water. And don't think that this inner rim is really sealing it. That's not the case. And suddenly you have a big issue. You cannot take this thing off. And then there's even more panic and more problems. Always talking about people that are not natural in the water. I mean, for a, for a certified diver, that's probably all not an issue, but I'm talking about somebody who's not diving, who's not in the water every day, who's doing this like once a week on a vacation, trying this because he already has an issue with something simple like that. But I mean, if this fills with water, I mean, in worst case, you can take it out of your mouth and you can breathe. If you have your mask filled with water, I mean, you can still breathe through your mouth. I mean, you take the mask off and the water's gone in case you cannot clear it like a diver would do it. That's not really easy with this, and that creates a huge risk, and that's why I simply tell you, don't use these. No matter which brand, no matter what, if you want to learn how to snorkel and you want to be comfortable in the water, Go to a dive center, go to an instructor and ask him for a pool lesson or something like that. Everybody will be happy to help you. And then you'll be safe in the water and don't compromise your own safety by, by buying this fails idea of, of safety and comfort. That's simply wrong. Um, there will be a second part of this where we go in the water and I'll show you a couple of techniques. And I'll also talk a little bit about fins, different types of fins and why you want to use them or why you won't use them. Um, and then we'll talk a little bit about fin techniques because the main issue I see beside from the mask and the snorkel that I see is that people get cramps and that's normally because they use the wrong type of fin or they have the wrong technique. And um, yeah, I uh, hope you liked that so far. We go to the water now. <laughs>